But, uh, you know... Why did we bring up Lola again? I, I was just talking about the advertisements. Oh, the, the advertisements. Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> no, no, because, yeah, you. it's hard to get on a train, like in a, yeah. in like a major train, where you don't see an ad that has her. Sorry, man, I filled that up a little bit. Yeah, no kidding, man. I've drank way too much to have this <laughs> full. Sorry, man. Yeah, I got to get a little sippy cup. So it's Dude, like your I just son. Gotta, I just got to. We just, <laughs> like, we've finished almost this entire thing. Yeah. So. We're almost there. Yeah. We'll we'll finish this we'll finish this episode when we're done with this bottle. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Um some something else though it's really funny is uh what what about train etiquette? Have you have you oh, ever dude. seen someone break the rules? Totally. So the first the first train rule that yeah. I always see broken, and actually the worst time was when one of my friends got on the train with me. Yeah. Is talking loudly. Like yep. that's the biggest, especially yep. in Tokyo. That's the rule you don't break. Like that's something amazing that I thought was that there's so much noise in the train station. You have the announcements happening every yes. thirty seconds. You have the trains coming, the announcement for the train. Yeah. And you have like the noise announcing that the train's going to come. Then the doors open, and then the jingle goes, and then the trains go. But after those doors close, it's like silence. silence. It's kind of like it's kind of like in those sci-fi movies, like when when the doors to like the space station, the doors to the yes. spaceship <laughs> close. <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah <laughs> that's how it feels like to it, me right? it definitely does yeah and so it's almost like like there's this like even on the rowdiest train mm. with like that's super full to capacity like you have to push the people in yeah once the doors close yeah so quiet yeah and so then when my friends get on with me they're like, hey, Arthur, so how have things been going? It's been really great. Like, it, it sounds like it's echoing. Yeah. And I can see other people looking at me like, guys, I wish you'd be quiet. I'm like, I know, I wish she was quiet too. <laughs> and so I'm like, hey, we need to keep our voice low. And it's like, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. So Arthur, so tell me, so how have things been going, Arthur? It just goes back to normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so here's, here's where I noticed I was starting to get influenced okay. by Japan. Um, this was, uh, this was a couple years ago and I was, I was getting on the train in the morning, just like my normal, in Japan. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. uh, I was getting on my, getting on the train, just normal commuting to work kind of thing. And there was this guy who cut me off and sat down in the spot that I was going to sit. Yeah. And this is a crowded train this mm -hmm. morning. It was the only place that I could sit down. And mm -hmm. I was looking forward to that. Because me, I have yeah, like yeah. my own little morning ritual. I get on, I sit down, I pull open my phone, I play some smartphone games, mm -hmm. I check the news, and then usually by then it's like I'm at I'm at uh, mm -hmm. Mita station, and I get off mm -hmm. and I go to work. Mm -hmm. But um, this guy sat in my spot. Yeah, he sat in my spot, mm -hmm. and there was nowhere else to sit down. And so I got in front of him, and I was mm -hmm. just like unrealistically grumpy. Because like honestly, I should have just like oh, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I'm sitting in front of him, kind of glaring at him, because he cut me off. And I'm just like, I hate you. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at him. I'm giving mm -hmm. him those death mm -hmm. stares. And then this guy pulled out the cardinal sin. He mm -hmm. pulled out his phone and just started talking on the phone. Oh, he was calling someone? Literally pulled out his phone oh. and started. So, so, for those of you who don't understand, there is, like, there's a lot of rules with riding the train here. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that you do not do is talk on the phone. Yeah. In the train. I that say, is like... I would say there are two rules. One is you don't talk on the phone. You don't eat on the train. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. But then every once in a while, you'll get like the old men who are just like sitting there pounding beers on yeah, the train. Yeah, right. But everyone, everyone just quietly ignores that. But yeah, this guy pulled out his phone and yeah. just... Like, it wasn't even like, hey, I'm late for work. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm... You know, like that... That's kind of forgivable, right? Yeah, right. No, 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 no. This guy pulls out his phone, calls up. A family member or friend, it doesn't matter. He's he's just having a casual conversation. Really? And I'm just like, You are literally Satan. Wow. You are you are the most evil person. And I, I am yeah. just like glaring at this guy at this point. And you know, it's kind of funny, like I looked around a little bit and it's when you when you break the rule mm -hmm. on a train, you you know about it. Yeah. It's kind of like what you were saying. It's like people won't really look at you but they're yeah. looking at you yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah like at the first instant they'll all look at you for an instant then they'll look away but It'll they're still looking like, at you yeah 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 yeah. like that kind of yeah. thing but you know Hope you'll pick up they're, on the they're, it was just a quick glance but you know they're staring and they're just yeah. like yeah you are wrong yeah. <laughs> like that kind of thing yeah dude I'll and totally god that. there was just so much pressure and i don't even know where that guy who he is or where he went 
Yeah. But... No, it's funny because you, you always have those like free radical people that are just like moving just don't around care stuff, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, no, but it, it's funny because it's like I noticed the same thing. Um, so like in Japan, one thing that that is was kind of surprising to me is that you don't eat while you're walking down the street, and you don't eat on the train. Yeah, and like when you see when you see a foreigner breaking those rules, it's okay because well, you're a foreigner, like whatever you don't yeah. know. But then. I've seen like sometimes Japanese people who like get on the train and then sheepishly eat like an onigiri or something <laughs> looking around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like looking <laughs> around making sure no one's like staring at them too much. Yeah. Yeah, it's just really it's it's funny how there are all these there are, there are obvious rules and then there are unwritten rules that yeah. you have to follow too. Oh, there definitely is. Um, you know the one I see all the time. Yeah. And to be fair, there's I don't know why there's no notices about this. Oh, I'm topping you, feel, you off. You feel mine pretty high. I'll top mine off. Don't worry. Don't don't spill, man. I'm kind of worried about you I'm right now. Spill. Um. Cheers, okay. man. Cheers. 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 I just want you to spill that one. Oh, you did it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, something that I don't understand why there's no signs for this. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, okay, maybe there might be a couple, but um, I see a lot of people when they're traveling here. They'll wear uh, backpacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's kind of like an unwritten rule yeah. that when you wear a backpack on the train, you put it in front of in you. In front of you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then you get like, Mr. Oh, I'm from Switzerland. I'm bringing all my ski equipment, and I have this giant travel backpack. Mm -hmm. And they just get on the train, and they're just like, wham, just yeah, whacking yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I see that all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's gotten so bad that now they actually have signs out saying, yeah. please put your bag in the yeah. front, you know? But yeah, that, that's a big thing. I remember people would, before I understood that rule, people would like stare at me on the train. I'm like, why are you staring at me? Yeah. Oh, wait, now I understand why in hindsight, you know? Yeah, but it's it's kind of weird because um, I I just, uh, I don't feel like it's readily apparent that that's what you're supposed to do. So that's yeah. just like one of the things you pick up on after yeah. living here for a little bit. You kind of you learn these like social norms yeah. and everything. So, so if we're going to summarize it, one is don't talk loudly. Yeah. Don't use the phone. Yeah. Don't eat. Um, and put your backpack in the front, especially when it's crowded. Definitely. Yeah. Are there any other kind of unwritten rules you saw? Well, this isn't so much unwritten, but I break this all the time. Yeah. So I'm I'm guilty of this. Okay. You know, judge me for what you will. Okay. I sit in the disabled person seat all the time. Yeah. I, I just don't care. So the official rule is that you can sit there, but when it's crowded, you have to give up your seat there. Yeah. But in general, people just don't sit there. But, like, hear me out on this, right? Okay. So, I feel really self-conscious when I'm sitting down and an old person comes over. Yeah. And every single time I'm, I, when I give up my seat, because I'm, I'm a good, nice person. I'll yeah. give up my seat when I see somebody who, who probably fits the bill. But, like, I always feel self-conscious about it because, like, what I'm basically saying is, like, oh, wow, you look old enough to sit down. Yeah. Here, no, it's true. Take it's my true. take my spot, and it's it's so funny because like you know whenever whenever I'll offer my seat, like the person's like, oh, daijou, but daijou, yeah, but yeah, yeah, right, like, right, it's right. okay. No, 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 and like it always creates this awkward thing. But man, I really like sitting down on the train. So so, <laughs> so I'm kind of the opposite. I, well, I like sitting down on the train, but yeah, I feel bad if I'm sitting down. And some okay, so I just have to preface this is before I actually sit down. When I'm sitting down. I don't care. Yeah. But before I sit down, if there's someone else who is standing and there's an open seat, I'm inclined to let them sit down. And Are you kidding me? Stand. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Mr. Power Man I, Arthur, yeah. like the, the guy who's like all about assertiveness. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I know, this is, this is like the mystery of Arthur right here. It's like, That's so why weird. is it that I want to be the last person to sit down? You know? Of, of course, if there's someone standing on the other side of the train, yeah. there's an open seat next to me, I'll sit there. Yeah. But then with the old person situation, because I didn't want to deal with that, but yeah. I also want them to sit down. Yeah. So what I do now is I don't say anything. <laughs> I just get up and I go to the go to another train car. I like walk to another train car. <laughs> I, so, I know what that's like. Yeah. So they can't even say anything. It's just yeah. like there's a seat open in front of them. Yeah. That's how I fix it. <laughs> so, and I'm, and I'm fine with that, you know? That's funny. But yeah, it's... It's funny. It's it's weird like that. 
it trains it's it's so weird it's yeah because sometimes people will get offended if yeah. you try to offer them your well that's the thing that's that's where i get like self-conscious because it's, it's the whole thing of like hey you're old so you deserve to sit down and yeah. it's kind of like some people don't want to be like yeah they're old but they don't they don't want to be called out for it yeah, yeah, you know right. like i understand that yeah. but so just don't say anything get up go to the next train car they're all connected so <laughs> i i will say though I a couple times when I've been in that situation where like the person's like, Oh, Daijo, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, No, 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 my my train station is the next station. <laughs> and then I'm completely lying. Of course, it's yeah, not yeah, the next not station, the next but station. like now I've I've committed to this lie. So now I have to get off at this dude, station. Dude, dude. So I get off and I get on and the next train down. <laughs> yeah. Actually, oh no, no, there, there was there was a time when, <laughs> when I um when I did get up mm. and they just sat down and they were thanking me. And I was like Oh great, we made this connection. Now I feel like like I'm I have to actively ignore you because <laughs> you've said thank you to me. We've established this connection. Yeah. So just because I feel awkward, yeah. I get off at that stop <laughs> and then I get into the next train car next to me just to like avoid that, you know? Because yeah, yeah. there there's like a window where there's space there's time for you to leave. Yes. And it doesn't matter. It's like you give your space, you kinda of go to the next train car, it's fine. But if you st- Stay there for like a minute or two and then you suddenly leave mm. then it's super weird it is i i completely <laughs> understand oh my god i'm so glad i'm not the only person who does this Dude, i'm you know it's funny like that's that's the thing you know i always thought i am such a weird person yeah but what i just realized is i'm actually a normal person it's just no one talks about this stuff <laughs> No, it's true though. Yeah. It's it's one hundred percent true. And I don't think it's I, I think this is something that's um not specific to foreigners. I think Japanese people do the same thing. Yeah. Um I just think that's that's just something you do here. It's so, yeah, like you said, no one talks about it. Yeah. This is the first time I've had a conversation about this. Yeah, right. 